This video, I hope, will be the bar spin tutorial to end all bar spin tutorials. I've made a how to bar spin video probably once a year for the past three or four years. And uh, every year I just kind of step it up a little bit. And of course, uh, the last one got maybe 100,000 views and I, I didn't like that one. So hopefully this is the last how to bar spin I will ever make. And hopefully after watching this, you will never have to watch a single how to bar spin again. Make me a deal. If you get any value out of this video, hit me with a like and subscribe. But if you learn something and land a bar spin, first of all, you can pick up your I can bar spin shirt merch link down below if you are uh, successful after watching this video if not like and subscribe will do fine me and my dad are giving away $50 Amazon gift cards we're doing one this month and we're doing another one next month and probably every month from then on and all you got to do to win a $50 Amazon gift card and as you can imagine not too many people watch my videos not too many people watch his videos yet so if you enter this giveaway the odds of you winning $50 especially considering that we're going to be doing this consistently every month is very high all you got to do is click the first link in the description that will take you to my dad's YouTube channel hit subscribe post notifications and comment giveaway on his most recent post we will both announce the giveaway winner two weeks from now and he's going to have uploaded several videos so it doesn't matter which video that you comment giveaway on we will still see it so if you would like to win $50 towards parts uh, I, I don't know anything you want Amazon $50 gift card first link in the description click it subscribe to my dad and then comment giveaway I know that was a really long intro for how to bar spin but let's get into it so I just want to start off by saying that the bar spin is real simple it's not easy, but it's simple. It's really simple. And what do I mean by that? You've, you've got to understand how to bar spin before you bar spin. You're not going to go take your driver's test and it's the first time you've ever been inside of a car. You want to understand how to put it in gear, how to start it, how to turn on the headlights, how to use the wipers. You want to understand how to drive the car before you actually physically go out and take it for a spin. You have to learn it, you have to study it, you have to practice it, and you have to get comfortable with it before you take your test and take it out on the road. It's kind of like the same thing. You're going to want to understand the car the same way you're going to want to understand your bike and everything that goes into it. Because if you screw up driving a car, you might die. If you screw up with a bar spin, you still might die. I mean... Hey, this, this trick can hurt. And that's why you're here. And after you watch this, hopefully you'll be landing bar spins within the next five minutes, hour, five days. Doesn't matter. And that's another thing. If it's been taking you years to get a bar spin, don't get discouraged. It took me about an entire year to get a bar spin. And that's the trick I'm known for. I'm known for bar spins. And it took me so long to land them. Everybody goes at their own pace. Don't even worry about it. Moving on. I've recently just absolutely dialed in switch bars. So another reason I'm making this video is because I'm going to teach you guys the exact points that I struggled with. So basically I relearned how to bar spin. So it's fresh in my mind and I can give you guys the tips that I, you know, gave myself. I watched my own how to bar spin videos just to remind myself how the frick do I do a switch bar? Sorry, regular fans, no profanity in this one. This, this might get a couple views. Now, how to actually bar spin. Now, this has been a lot of talking, but like I said, this is the how to bar spin to end all how to bar spins. Hopefully, it might get five views. If it gets five views, those people are gonna be able to bar spin. So share this, like and subscribe if you get any uh, value out of it. Step number one, like I said, is understand the bar spin and study it. So what that means is watch people do bar spins. I'm gonna throw in a ton of B-roll clips just over me talking of doing bar spins. Watch people do bar spins. Watch their posture, watch their form, watch their feet placement, watch how they pinch, if they pinch, if they toss, if they bust. Study the bar spin and understand it. And by that, I mean it's not only just watching, but you gotta watch how to's, you gotta ask people, how do you do this? How do you put the car in drive before taking it on the highway? It'll make the whole learning process go so much faster if you're already going into it knowing what to do. Next is another concept you need to understand is that your feet are just as important. And in my case, my feet were way more important than my hands. I never had the problem, like I could sit there and just, you know, toss a bar, toss a bar, like not hot bar, flat bar, like literally just do the motion over and over. I could do that all day. Most of everybody could do that all day. But whenever I was learning switch bars, I had the same problem as when I was learning regular bars. So what I mean is I would go up and I would toss the bar and like, I'd be like, what the heck? Like the bar, I, I've had the rotation down. Why is it going away from me? Why is it stopping halfway? Why is my bike freaking out when I just try to do this motion? And that's because it has nothing to do with my hands. It was all because of my feet. What you want to do, here's your front foot, here's your back foot. Your back foot is gonna tuck your toes slightly under the crank and your front foot is gonna slightly dip your heels under the crank. So that's gonna pinch your cranks. Everybody knows that you need to, you know, pinch your seat or whatever. Yeah, pinch your seat, that's great. You've been told that a million times. I've said that in my last video. But pinching your cranks with the proper foot placement, that is what helped me learn 
because like I was just pinching my seat learning switch bars and it took me forever. I, it was so inconsistent. My bike was going everywhere. It was dumping all the time. The second I locked in my feet, so from the very base of the bike all the way up to the seat, that whole center part of my bike was just under lockdown. It was not going anywhere. And then all of a sudden, since my bike was steady, my bike was just set in place, that motion became just as easy as it was on the ground because my bike's not moving. So on top of pinching, for me personally, more importantly, pinching with my feet and the cranks, my foot placement was just as important as my hand placement. This is gonna be a really long how-to. How-to to end all how-tos. So you probably understand the motion on how to do it. If your left foot forward, you're gonna throw or bust with your left hand. If your right foot forward, you're gonna toss with your right hand. That's the general rule of thumb. If you've screwed that up already, it's totally fine. It's freestyle BMX. I don't recommend screwing it up, but if you do, it's fine. So you know how to pinch. Everybody's told you how to pinch the seat. You literally just clamp your knees. You really gotta focus on pinching your feet. So your butt's under lockdown, you know the motion. The next step is now that you've understand it and you study the bar spin you know how to pinch you know how to throw everything's dialed in you need to learn how to do the proper hop some people they'll do a teeny tiny hop and there's no way they're gonna have time for a bar spin some people do a huge hop personally if you can i recommend doing it fly out it gives you more time and yeah it's scarier because you're higher off the ground but your form just from what i've taught people in my personal experience if you learn it fly out it's going to be a lot slower and a lot more clean so it's going to slow it down and your bar spin's gonna look a lot better. And then over time, you can start doing a hop once you get more and more comfortable and throwing them faster. But whenever I learned my hop bar spins and hop switch bars hop, I was just tossing it just because I had a little bit of time. It was less scary just to let it go. I was only a foot off the ground, not that big of a deal, but my bar spins looked atrocious. Try learning them fly out, but if you're learning them hop, dial that in first. Fly out and get a comfortable speed. And like once you're at the point where you're like, okay, I'm ready to throw it, do that hop 10 more times before you throw it because chances are in those 10 times, you're gonna screw up that hop. You wanna make sure that hop is completely consistent. So that's just, that fear is out of your mind. It's like, okay, I don't have to worry about a weird hop because I've got this down. I know for a fact that this hop is going to be perfect and all I have to focus on is not the hop, that's not what I'm worried about. I just have to focus on tossing the bar spin. Another thing that helps people is after you've got the hop, after you've got the motion and how to pinch by simply pinching with your feet and pretending like you're gonna hop, but just do a little pull up bar. That helps a lot of people. I didn't learn pull up bars, but it is a good way to pull up, do a proper bar spin and land. Because if you think about it, if you pull up and jump just a little bit harder, it's not that much different than a pull-up bar at all. I've seen so many people learn it like that. So if you just do quick little pull-up bar, quick little pull-up bar, quick little pull-up bar, three in a row, that's what I've told people, and then hop and toss it, that has uh, yielded pretty good results. So if you're really, really good at pull-up bars, just know you're about that far away. As long as you've got the pinch and the hop down, you're about that far away. You're almost there. You're almost ready to buy an Icon Bar Spin shirt. These have been coming off the shelves more and more lately as you guys have been checking out my how-tos, so <laughs> it's cool to see that. You've got the motion of tossing the bar. You've got the pinch down, not only your calves and your knees, but also your feet. You've got the hop dialed, and in some cases, the fly out dialed. You know what it kind of feels like because you've mastered the pull up bar. So you just got to put it all together. Medium speed, get a decent hop. It doesn't have to be too low, doesn't have to be too high. Literally whatever you're comfortable with, it doesn't matter. As long as you have at least this much height off the ground, you can throw a bar spin. So get your feet in position, pinch those cranks, get ready to pinch your knees, do the hop, feet already pinched. And then once you're at the peak of the hop, wait till you're at the very peak. Don't toss it on the way up, don't toss it on the way down. Wait till you're at the very peak, then throw the bar spin. A lot of people, the bike will go away from them, it'll go down from them or whatever. It's because they're scared. Keep your weight and your back parallel to the top tube so you're even over the bike. Do not throw down because that will dump the bike and don't throw away from you because you're scared of it. Just nice and easy, toss it towards you. Just like when you're on the ground and you're picking it up and you're doing the pull-up bars, you're not tossing it down, you're not tossing it away from you, you're pulling up and you're tossing it nice and easy towards you. So translate that to the actual bar spin. Don't throw away, don't throw down. Hop, level out as you're pinching, nice and easy toss towards you, and then you've done the bar spin. You might, you know, beg and catch, you might land and then catch, it doesn't matter. It's your first bar spin and you're just gonna get better at it. It just takes time. Before this video gets way too long and out of hand, I just wanna say another thing is don't be afraid to wear a helmet, wear pads, knee guards, shin guards, elbow pads, anything like that. Because when I first learned it, I literally duct taped like rags and towels to my shins because I was terrified. So I did a couple pull up bars, I got the hop, pinch, tossed nice and easy towards me and just eventually I landed it because I worked up the nerves and it would have taken me probably an hour longer to actually work up the nerves to do all of that if I wasn't padded up because I was like, what's the worst that could happen? 
I'm either going to land it or not going to land it. And I'm not going to hurt myself because I'm all padded up. So don't be afraid to bubble wrap yourself and go toss it. This is a trick you can't really feel out. You can't hop and then toss it because you're going to get stuck in that. Your feet are going to blow off. Another reason why you want to pinch your cranks properly is because it's going to keep your feet from blowing off. They're not going to feel lost in the bar spin. Your feet are going to have a purpose. And you got to fully commit, which means don't throw down, don't throw away, don't be afraid of it. Hop and just push it through. Nice and easy toss towards you or a bust towards you. You have to commit. Don't think you can go into this feeling it out. It's simple. It's not easy. And the reason it's not easy is because it's mentally scary. But if you're padded up and you fully commit and you understand and you've studied the trick and you're ready to throw it, there's no no reason that you're not going to land it. The biggest problem I see, I keep saying this, is throwing down. I can't emphasize enough toss towards you. A lot of people, they're throwing down, their bar spins look terrible. They don't know why. It's because, quite frankly, like literally, you're just tossing it at a downwards motion. The angle has to be nice towards you. Anyway, this is probably the uh, longest how to bar spin you've ever seen, but hopefully after watching this, in the combination between you leaving comments below and asking me questions, further questions that you have about bar spins, hopefully this is the last time you will ever need to look up a how to bar spin video. If you still have more questions, let me know down in the comments below or you can follow me on Instagram at Grayson Roberts and DM me. I'm not sure which would be easier for me to find, but feel free to do so. Anyway, if you wanna win $50, first link in the description, go subscribe to my dad and then comment giveaway on any one of his videos, we'll see it. We're gonna announce the winner in two weeks. In two weeks, we're gonna probably just announce the next month's giveaway giveaway for 50 more dollars so be sure to do that thank you guys for watching if you got any value make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and hey once you land one celebrate by picking up an icon bar spin shirt appreciate it i'll see you guys next time you know i don't really make how to's on this channel but uh it's, it's about time for me to update my how to bar hopefully this wasn't too trash <laughs>